What is up, guys? We're going to be playing a new game on the Steam Spotlight. It is called Dungeon of the Endless. Maybe asking yourself, what is this game about? Well, you're about to find out. And that's why you're sitting here watching. Nothing there, and that's me failing. You should. You weren't supposed to see that. All right, new game. Spaceship success. Crew. 350 oh it's going down hold on prisoners going down the status under attack what the heck what okay I want sword lady and shoot guy let's go whoa that was an unreal realistic explosion 95 percent 100 percent all right so I played a teensy weensy tiny teeny little teeny whittle doodle bit um, just so I could get the hang of this I'm yet to win that's how awesome Lee awesome I am at this game all right so ooh, wait why is that broken or is that just a shadow okay yeah it was a shadow all right so I figured out that you don't want to just stand around while your crystal is being um, made or whatever that is. All right, we want another industry um, producer. We're gonna go left into this room. We're gonna power this room up because it's good to have rooms powered up. All right, so now we're going to add. We don't have enough industry. Uh, industry is this. This is science. This is health. Which I'm actually going to level this dude up because he's our backup. Or no, he's our main dude. And so, um, so yeah. So then we're gonna want some shooter dudes in here. That way we have some sort of oopsie daisy. We have some sort of guns blazing. All right, so I can make a tactical HUD. Adds. Okay. Painful to wear. So it gives us attack power. This gives us healing. Um, well, on the floor or the room? Okay, so this is room. This is, alright, this is a gun, but it has a very low, or it can, um, it can run, or it can overheat. This is like a hollow thing. I think I'm actually gonna save up for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna save up for that one. All right. So let's put power in that room. Um, let's go ahead and put down guns in this room. Just a bunch of guns in this room because we need a ton of guns. All right, no, actually power in there because we can right now. I will need him to converge with her. Alright, so this is already powered up, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go right. The reason I'm saying powered up is because this is my power, right? Yeah, oh, wait, what did we find? Quick draw. I'm pretty sure no one can use that. Gosh dang it! The only reason I brought this guy and her is because they're the only two that don't that can actually use like the weapons that I've been getting but they can't use the quick draw because it's a pistol alright whatever alright so there's no power in this room so we have to converge and kill the enemies in the room in order to there we go to get power and then once we have enough power we can see I don't have enough power every time one of these little like things lights up but not a ton it's enough to power up a room if we leave the room not powered up, then what happens is, um, let's put a science thing down. That way we earn science. What happens is, oh, I can level her up. Every time I discover a new room, what happens is, what was I going to get? This one? Yeah. That's not the one I wanted to do, dang it. I changed my mind just as I clicked it. But every time we converge to a new room, it will, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna want a lot of those. Every time I go to a new room, a wave of enemies will come out of a room that does not have power. So it's a good thing to have power on us. So I want one holocron in this room. But I can't do that just yet, so. And then we're gonna need another one of those. See, here comes that wave. This guy is so slow. It's ridiculous. Alright, so we'll power up this room. That way we have power in the same rooms that we're moving to. Let's move these guys together. Armed and ready, boys! And this room has power. So then here comes that wave. I'm making sure that this is well handled. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much 100% handled. So we can, um... Stay calm on that room. This room has power. Let's go right. I've tried already trying to... Right, so now I can give myself that hero dude. Uh, where is that? I want some of those in this room. Let's power up this room. That way I don't have to deal with that. Um, hollow hero. I want one in this room. You'll find out in a second. So he's takes he takes damage for me. Um, I'm gonna want some more of these. You'll find out why in a sec. This may end up being the easiest one that I've done so far, because no one's like converging excessively. Oh, I missed that room. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's move this way. She's a lot faster, so hold on, actually. He will open the room. Oh, so we got some stuff for opening that room up. Um, let's add power to that one, because I don't want to have to deal with another wave. I can take the power away real easily. Go we'll open the last door. So this is where I need to get my crystal. So I want her, I'm going to make her run back and pick up this crystal, right? So he is going to be my backup, and he's going to go here to that one, yeah. Alright, so now that she's picked up the crystal, now enemies are going to start spawning. Alright. Dang, Garnet! Move with the crystal! Jeez. He's gonna stay in this room. And see, because all those rooms have power, enemies aren't spawning in there. So now he needs to converge on this room. Converge on this room. You can do it! Exit? Is that all I need to do? Are you serious? That's all I've needed to do this entire time? Oh, wait. Oh, we left him behind. Floor. More than one floor, all alone. At least nobody will complain if I start singing. There's more than one floor. Oh no! Oh no! Well, crap. Can I add a hero? Can I hire a hero? Zoom. Oh no! There's no way I'm gonna solo it with just one hero. Well, dang. I was not aware that that needed to happen. Um. Jeez, she's gonna freaking die already. Alright, well, this has been. Uh, hold on. Jeez, this has been Dungeon of the Endless, literally. Um, that took forever. Not really. It only took a, a couple minutes, but... Um, so yeah. It says I got a photo early, but it's not there, so I don't know how that works out. You probably have to finish the floor. Um, yeah. 
So that's been Dungeon of the Endless. If you like this, smack that like button with your face and also keys. If you want to tell me something about it, comment. If you want to subscribe to me, that would be awesome. If you want to get this game, um, you're going to have to buy it on Steam because that's where I found it. It was all it was free for a uh, limited time. I'm um, it's probably not free anymore, but yeah, can't help you with that. But this game was pretty cool. Um, like if I owned this game, I probably would play it a good amount. Like it's it's kind of just one of those like time waster kind of games. It's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, but you need a lot of information on it and this is still in early access and stuff so if I could say anything I would say like if the developers are watching right now thank you for watching first off and second off um, there needs to be more hold on let me show you yeah it's starting the game there needs to be more how can I say it not weapon choices because I can see that there's plenty more dudes and people there needs to be more, from the very start, there needs to be more, like, earned. I don't know if that was, like, strategically, like, you guys were like, how much should we give them? And then you guys, like, figured out, oh, five, two, and four is a good number. It's not that it's a bad number, it's just that, um, it's not a good number, in my opinion. Because, here. Or just turn down like the generator thing, because I put that I put that in. That literally gives me plus three, plus three per room. Yeah, that might be good, but I could end up, you know, getting into this room, and you know, um, where was I going with this? I it takes like three rooms in order to get enough industry to you know fund for these things I don't know if that's on purpose like maybe um, you should focus more on you know like these for the first floor or whatever and then just keep going from that I don't know because apparently there's multiple floors and you have to escape um, so yeah so I actually haven't gone through all the floors um, so yeah I just went through the first floor but that this game has been pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of uh, when I first started playing. It was real confusing, and I didn't really know. Like it told me what to do, but you learn what to do like real fast and stuff. So, um, yeah. So you have to find the exit. It's just. Uh, Things aren't, things don't like mesh together as much as I would wish it to. I'm trying to figure out a way to say it. Um, I like the idea behind the power and like if you don't have power then uh, enemies spawn. I don't like the idea that in order to get more power you have to like go into a new room. Which ends up either there's already power there or a like... Uh, you have to kill enemies or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, this this has been a pretty cool game. If you guys want it, it's on Steam for... I'm not entirely sure how much. But, it doesn't matter. Thank you for watching, guys. And, chill. Ugh. I do like this uh, title music. Though. It's pretty cool. Alright, it doesn't matter. Chill. Ugh. What? What? Why can I... Is that... I don't want to click on it. Does it do anything? Oh, it does. It did something. Okay, it just opened, like, um, a website. Alright, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm done talking.